Good morning, you motivational ninjas. It is Tuesday morning, and welcome to Motivated Entrepreneurs. So today, um, I'm going to be a bit honest with you guys. So as you know, I plan out these episodes around about a month in advance, or maybe a bit more. And when I was planning out today's episode, it was when I was on holiday. And uh, yeah, I, I, I'm just going to spew out verbal spew, I suppose, and just talk to you about, about my thoughts and my feelings, because I don't know if I'm doing something right or something wrong in parenting. I have no idea. So we're on holiday, and there's this, there's this guy. He's, he's very, very, I don't want to say his name, just in case. Very, very unlikely that anybody knows him uh, on this podcast. Very, very unlikely. However, right, this guy is... We, we go down to football pitch, me, Zach and Kai, and we start playing all the time. And there's one guy who's always there. He's always in the football pitch, just kicking the ball on his own or playing with other people. He's a very large boy. He's nine years old, somewhere on a nine or eight. Um, definitely overweight. Um, I, feel so, I feel so horrible saying that. I don't know why I feel so because He's overweight. Um, and he's such a lovely guy. He really is an amazing human being. Absolutely amazing. And we become friends with him. Our kids come for, my kids come friends with him. And they're always looking for him. They're always wanting to play with him because he's such a nice guy. He's just a nice guy. And um, and then so one day, you know, he's, he's always there. Two days, he's always there. Three days, I'm thinking, what the hell are his parents? And his parents are never to be seen. They're not ever there. And it, because they're on holiday, he says that they need to enjoy themselves as well. And so they just literally say, right, see you later. And off he goes on his own to play all day. He goes to the kiddie club. He goes to football. He just, you know what? And I, I, I genuinely feel sorry for him. So I'm buying him food. <laughs> well, it's not inclusive, so I'm not really buying him, but I'm getting him food. And I said, do you want anything, buddy? And he goes, no, 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 I don't, I don't, really, I don't really eat during the day. I'm like, what? You don't eat during, what do you mean you don't eat during the day? And he goes, no, I'm all right. I'm all right. Well, do you want some water? Do you want a drink? Do you want some apple juice? He goes, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll have some apple juice. Can I have a cook? So we, you know, we get him a cook and I'm thinking, and I'll, 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 I look around at the pool and everywhere there is mums and dads just relaxing and the kids are on their own and playing and stuff. And literally every single time one of my children asked me to do something saying, Dean, um, can you, uh, not Dean, Dad, can you come in the pool? Yeah, all right, son, I'll come in the pool. Let's so dive in. Uh, Dad, can you come to the park? Yeah, so I go to the park with him. Dad, can you uh, I, what, what, can you come on the slides with us? Yeah, I'm there. I'm literally, whatever they want, I'm there. And But my question, or my thought process, and I've been thinking about it so much since we got back, is I'm, I, who am I doing it for? Am I doing it for myself because I want to feel like I'm a real good dad? Look at me, you know, I'm this great dad. Or am I doing it for the kids? And it's a really horrible question to ask yourself that because I genuinely don't know. I genuinely, honestly, don't know why I'm doing it or what I'm doing it for. But then the worst question to ask yourself is, then my kids... <laughs> are in this little bubble where dad's with them all the time. Dad's going to play football with them. Dad starts making friends for them, kind of thing, you know. Like, go on, ask him if he can play. Ask him if he wants to play. No, no, you're asking dad. Hey, mate, do you want to come and play with us? And so then we've got three or four kids playing football. And then when it gets a bit more, more children playing football, then I step away and just, I watch. Why don't I just leave them? What, what is wrong with me? Why can't I do that? So my, my question internally is, have, have I got it right? Or have the people around the pool got it right where they just... The, the, I mean, I was talking to another dad and he was saying that, listen, this is my holiday. I, I've come away because I need to get away from work. And yes, my family needs to have a good time, but I need to have a good time too. But then my answer is that I have a good time with my kids. I want to play with my kids. But then am I doing them a disservice by playing with them? Because uh, then they're not having the muscle. They're, they're, they're not being resilient because they don't have to be because I'm there all the time. But then is showing love a bad thing or a good thing? I mean, it's not saying that the other parents don't love the kids as much at all. Nowhere near. But I just I personally couldn't send them to kid, kiddie club all the time. Uh, there was a kiddie club on a night time as well, even night time. So mums and dads could go to the bar and the show on the road and the kids were playing. It's like, I just, I, I don't, I, I'm completely lost. I do think that there's a happy medium. There's got to be a happy medium somewhere. And I have to, as, as hard as it is for me, I have to literally um, 
at some point, I, I've got to say, no, I can't play with you. I, I, for them, not for me, because I mean, I get bored and holiday. I, I don't like just sunbathing. I, so I, at some point, I've got to... I've, I've got to say no, and I've got to let them make their own friends. I've got to release the the strings a little bit, I suppose. But then, I, like I said, I, I, I personally enjoy it. I know they enjoy my company. So then is playing with your dad all that wrong? Ah, I, I don't know. Anyway, so this is this has been growing on my mind uh, about six weeks now since I come back from holiday, four weeks, whatever it is. And I, I genuinely don't know what's, what's the right parenting technique to literally probably not to do what our friend's kid did, where I just like pushed him off and that's it, didn't see him for God knows how long. But it's it's got to be a happy medium where I do try now to, to let them exercise that muscle of, of being on their own, not having me as a safety net behind them all the time, because it can't be good for them fundamentally. I feel like this is, like I said, this podcast, this is as much for me as it is for my kids growing older, because I almost get to talk about my... It's like it's like a therapy session for me. So yeah, that, that's where my head's been for the last last week or so. I know this is episode is a little bit different than normal, but I, I, wa- I want to make sure that I'm I'm really, really on the idea of this podcast is that I'm honest. There's no point doing this podcast if I'm not honest. There's no and, and being open about what's on my mind. So that is something that's on my mind. Um so tomorrow, first of December. Woohoo! Yeah. I'm recording this on Sunday, by the way, and we have got a treat up. Well, actually, my wife Claire is doing it as we speak. All right, guys. Have a great week. See you soon. Bye. Much, much manly.